it's 9.50 here in Lavorgo and uh, it seems to be quite a, a popular location for the start so maybe I chose the right way the right place who knows <coughs> Hey Chrono man, wie geht's? <lacht> Gut. Gut. <lacht> wie viele Stunden machst du, glaubst du? Bis zum Ende. Ja. Boah. Unter 48 wäre schön, aber ich habe keine Ahnung, ob, ob das geht. Okay. <lacht> Gut, also viel Spaß und äh, vielleicht wir sehen uns, aber ich bin nicht sicher. Spätestens in Bern. Ja, genau, genau. Okay, ciao. Welcome to Valley! <laughs> It was hot. Oh, much harder than I thought. But it's done. Ah. This is maybe the most beautiful view for a cyclist in the Alps with the Furka switch back all the way down there and in the distance the Grimsel, which I will climb in a moment. Well the Grimsel pass was easy compared to the Furka. And uh, basically done with the high mountains. One big descent into uh, Innerkirchen. Still a Brunig Pass. Like, what, 500 meters of climbing, but uh, much lower altitude. And I'm joined by a fellow racer. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, now on the Brunig. The beautiful light, beautiful surroundings. But man, it's hot. And, uh, yeah, it's taking its toll on me. I'm uh, surviving of this climb. And I will see what I do at the top. How far I want to go, where I want to eat, because I need a meal. We shall see. The sun, beautiful. It's now almost pitch dark, and hey, have you seen my secret weapon? This thing is amazing. Like the cars see me. Give me plenty of space. I feel super safe. This thing is great. So, my dinner is a takeaway pizza on the bench of um, a station. Um, it's pretty nice. It's a really nice evening. It's warm outside. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, so still don't know where I'm gonna stop. Um, there's a place along Valensee which might be good, so I will see how I feel. My ass is starting to hurt, hurt badly. Um, so it's probably time to think of uh, stopping somewhere. It's uh, what, 10 p.m., 10.30? Yeah, 10.30. So we will see. Okay, that's the sign at the top of the climb. 25% at what 11 p.m. That wakes you up. <laughs> Whew. 
Uh, it's now 12.45 and I'm in a hotel. I met a fellow racer, Beat, who knew about this place, which is awesome because you can check in automatically 24-7 and I'm here in a very comfy room with my bike. So I'm gonna have a quick shower and sleep, I don't know, maybe four hours. So I've been riding for about an hour and 15 minutes and looks like I'm getting to the next checkpoint in Balragat. Ah, I can see some cyclists, so yeah, definitely. Here we go. Hey, hello. <laughs> the Rhine. Graubünden, here I come. Mighty tailwind in the Rhine Valley. That feels so good. Ah. Hey, we get good. Good the fat. It's raining now, but doesn't matter because I'm climbing and boy it's a hard one to get up and uh, I just finished a solid 10% section Whew. you can't experience like, a big dip in energy but that's normal it's the middle of the day it's sunny it's hot um, and I uh, also have a terrible headwind hope it doesn't last I think it's north wind so it shouldn't be too bad um, but anyway time to have a break have an awesome sandwich that I bought in a gas station earlier this morning and soldier on that ice cream with salted caramel is the best energy food for bikepacking mm. oh. 500 yeah. well riding through Basel one of the biggest cities in Switzerland that Peak hour was not the most fun experience, but I did it, it's behind me. Uh, and I'm now on my way to uh, Laufen and Delemont, where I will make plans for the rest of the evening. Maybe I have dinner there, maybe further. We shall see. I'm about to start a climb up the Gorge du Pichou, which I know I've already done them in bikepacking mode and it's really steep and as I've already done about 300 kilometers it's gonna hurt okay CP7 is done Maison de la Tête de Moine well it's a great cheese but that climb was hard Whew, I'm so happy so glad it's done now down to Bien. Yeah. It's a little bit past 5 a.m. Uh, I'm here in a hotel uh, near Neuchâtel, about maybe 10 kilometers far from Neuchâtel, and uh, I had a good sleep, but I'm not in a great state this morning. Not sure I can take a lot of food for now. So it's going to be an interesting uh, 300 kilometers to the finish. Hopefully, it'll get better during the day because. Yeah, I'm gonna need some calories, some energy, but whatever, let's do it. Okay, it's seven, almost two hours in, and wow, it's been a rough start. Oh, I was feeling so bad. Everything hurt, couldn't eat or drink anything, 
but now it's much better. I'm moving, not very fast, but I'm moving and I believe I can finish this thing. I'm now approaching at the checkpoint in Geneva and yeah, I found my mojo back. The body's working again. I'm so happy because it was going to be a long grind today, so still painful, still hard, but at least I'm enjoying it. I've ridden through Lausanne and that was a steep way. Probably the worst route of all the participants in the such. Anyway, I'm here, everything hurts. My ass, my legs, my arms, oh, my head. I've had enough, so just decided to push hard to the finish. It's going to be a hundred and what, 30 kilometers, 20. I'm now above Oron and I'm going for it. Yeah! Climb, climb, climb. Uh, tired. <laughs> I want to finish this thing. <laughs> Only 40k to go, hurry up. I've had enough. <laughs> Burn! <laughs>